Hi, this is Kenneth Wong, Senior Editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. Software-driven simulation began in automotive and aerospace. So you might say that technology and its associated vocabulary are custom-made for these industries. The computation methods, the algorithms and solvers have been perfected over the years. So most car makers and plane makers rely on them, trust them. Like you would trust a mathematical formula that is proven to be quite accurate at predicting your expenses. But simulation technology is now moving into new territories, and that includes biomedical. This is the field where, when someone say material, they are more likely talking about bones, muscles, and blood, not plastic, steel, or metal. And even those manufacturers who work with traditional manufacturing materials like plastic and metal, take for instance medical device makers, they still need to figure out how these materials interact with organic matters. For instance, simulating a surgical instrument requires not just simulating the device operational movements, but also how it'll cut into tissues and muscles. What you're looking at here is a video output from ANSYS software, courtesy of Martin Larson from Autocon. Autocon manufactures hearing aids. Here, Larson and his engineers are simulating the sound pressure traveling through a user's head. In the next video, also from Autogon, it shows particle velocity of someone wearing a hearing aid. They're all an important aspect of understanding how sound waves and vibrations travel through a patient's anatomy. In this video, courtesy of Thierry Markel, ANSYS Industry Director for Material and Consumer Care, you see the outcome of a patient's respiratory cycle model based on scan data. With this kind of simulation, Thierry pointed out, medical device designers can predict the accurate particle depositing during respiratory drug delivery. Another household name among automakers, MSE software, has been used by stint graph designers to understand how the tiny device will expand once inside a patient's body and blood valves. Developing biomedical material databases based on lab-tested information currently stands as a challenge in simulating these scenarios. Another is developing algorithms that help you predict wear and tear of medical devices embedded inside patients' bodies, and animation methods that accurately reproduce how muscles and tissues move when dealing with loads and stresses. Some software makers believe the right approach is to create custom modules, something that's specially designed to simulate a common biomedical event. For example, Dassault System Simulia's Abacus Knee Simulator. Now, this allows users to get up to speed very quickly without having to master a general purpose simulation software package. For more on this topic, check out July issue's feature story from classical mechanics to biomechanics by me. Thanks for watching. Until next time, this is Kenneth Wong for Desktop Engineering Magazine.